we have finally made it part four of the four part series which is what i think everybody has been waiting for it's been a long journey to get here not because of all the work that's entailed to get here but mainly waiting for all of the parts tools material and that was a long process however the pole jack fiasco is finally complete all four of them are here assembled as you can kind of see behind me and we are ready to go the only thing left to do to separate this shell from the frame is to remove the actual bolts that hold the c-channel to the outer outriggers which look like this if you've been following along in the last video i've cleaned out pretty much all of this ready for removal and most of these are bent which means they're not going to just spin and thread right off so I think the best case scenario for this is going to be using a small Dremel tool with a cutoff wheel and cutting those out, popping them down, and then being ready to start to lift off the shell from the frame. Once we get there, we're going to remove all of the excess subfloor that you kind of see around here that I've left behind that's still attached. Clean out the rest of the tools, and the shell is officially off the frame. One thing before we get quite to that point is I am going to lift this up. I do want to move these uh, jack stands a little bit further back and past the axles, because part of this is actually going to be removing both axles and replacing them with the new ones which just happened to be sitting right there. So even though that process was long waiting for the jack stands or the pull jacks, we did, however, get a ton of other stuff in in the meantime, which means I've got a lot of work to go, which means more content for you guys and a lot more videos coming up. So right now I'm going to go ahead and go get some tools and we're going to start to cut this uh, bolts out that go all the way around the C channel uh, to the subfloor to the outriggers and get ready to lift this shell off of the frame. We're not going to time lapse this. I'm going to switch this uh, point of view. I'm going to try to get it to uh, attach to me so I can give you kind of an up close look of the actual work being done so you can see exactly what I'm doing step by step and get a little more up close and personal not that you guys want to get that close but we're going to get that close so without further ado i'm going to turn this video over go grab some tools it's going to take me a few minutes for you just a few seconds but let's get this started part four removal shell from the frame which i think is what you've all been waiting for let's do it really easy cut off wheel and then here's the excess bolt that I just cut off, which you can see right there. And then the vice grips are already in place on the actual bolt head. I don't know if you can see that, Let's see if I can get a better camera angle. And then what we'll do is we'll switch this over real quick this on the magnet post there we go and then just take this nice ratchet And then we'll get that one out once we hammer it out. And we'll just move over to the next one, so on and so forth.
is a little tougher in the corner. We'll get to it. we go man it's just hardly any bite rusted out. Holy cow. Barely hanging on. Barely hanging on. Wow. That's alright. We're putting new hardware in there anyways. But uh, man, that was pretty close. Barely there. All right, guys, all the bolts have officially been cut and removed from the C-channel to the subfloor. Only thing we have to remove is the two main bolts in the rear and the two main bolts in the front, as well as all of the number two screws, which kind of look like this. And those are installed throughout this C-channel all the way around. So we're going to go ahead and remove those number two screws. I'm going to leave the main bolts in for now on the front and rear. And then we're going to go underneath and we're going to start finishing off the underbelly for the outriggers which the only place i really have left is right around this wheel well right here of course right here that's pretty much it i am going to leave that attached for now because it's attached to the c channel and i want to leave that attached to the main structure and once i get this lifted off and all the outriggers uh cut out and re-welded in place then we'll set this back down and then I will go in and we will actually start drilling out all of these which will then allow me to drop this piece. Once we get all of those cut out, I also have to replace one uh, full length panel exterior which is this one because of that hole and a few other various holes that we no longer need in that spot and we're going to reroute some of that stuff in other locations. So we're just going to replace the entire panel, but that's where we're at. All right, one of the last things to do on the outside before we separate this uh, shell from the frame is to actually drill out all of these rivets holding this trim 
uh, all the way around the entire perimeter of this trailer. So what I'm going to use is a 1 8 inch drill bit. I'll go in here from this outside, drill out each one of these. And then as I take these pieces off, I will label them so I know exactly where they go. Because um, it's not just one solid piece, it's multiple pieces cut and placed uh, to fit perfectly. That's what I was afraid of. All right. So they start doing that. What I usually just come in here and do is come up with a chisel. That's what I try to avoid right there. Same with that right there. So you just go around, finish this off. Apologies for not showing the rest of taking the trim off. I thought I was running the GoPro to take off the smaller pieces and the entire time I was not. So they are off. That's exactly what it looks like. All I did was actually take a 1 8 inch drill bit and drill them out and it just popped right off. It took me about maybe 5-10 minutes to do the entire thing. So you can see all that right there. It's all off so now next part is to take all four corners off which is what these are and all we have to do is draw out one two and three about three to four on each corner we'll take those off and then once we get those off we're gonna take these underskirts off and then we're gonna separate this shell and take it off the frame
So you can tell it goes pretty quick once you get the hang of it. It's almost time for a new bit. We've only got a couple left so no need to change it.
Here we go. Bam. Let's see if we get that one off. Where was that? So I'm gonna save these as a template for the new stuff. So it'll give me a good, nice rough idea of the actual shape of it. That's why they're all over here. Oh, we are starting to look like we're ready to take this sucker off. Oh, that could be a problem. Gotta drill those first. another one all right guys the only thing left to do is to remove the four bolts the two in the rear two in the front i've already started that first one completely rusted out well i should say all four of them are rusted out but the first one just completely broke apart so that's what i'm going to do with the other three i'm going to do that real quick go around double check everything and then I'm going to fast forward through this and we're going to actually start to lift this thing off, call it a wrap, finish this four part series and get this shell off the frame so we can start the welding process. So here we go. I'm going to switch this over and we're going to start lifting the shell off of the trailer.